guys, what's going on? It is Ash here coming at you today in Brawl Stars. I am so addicted to this game, guys. I love it. Do you guys love it as much as I do? As a matter of fact, I've decided to cover this game every single day when I'm not traveling and Clash Royale every single day. So it'll be two videos a day and I'll try to weave in a Clash of Clans here and there when I can. But I'm definitely playing the most Brawl Stars right now. It's new and it's fresh and a common request from you guys has been how do you gain trophies fast? So today that's what we're going to show you how to do the best way to gain trophies and check this out guys. It's Tim from Elite Gaming. He has 240 survival victories. That is first place finishes in the showdown event. Now showdown, there's no doubt about it, is the very best way for a skilled player who knows what they're doing to win trophies, especially early on in the game. 240 survival victories is good for first in the entire world right now. Number one in the entire world, and you can see he used El Primo and Shelly. Those are really two of the best brawlers for survival mode. So we're gonna go ahead and get into some gameplay here. I recorded this gameplay from my very first day with Showdown on El Primo. So I have a level one El Primo here. I have not upgraded any of my brawlers at this point, you can see. And then we'll fast forward to real time and I'll play a match for you guys and show you the strategy you should be using. Now, if there's gonna be a little bit of a difference. I wasn't quite as aggressive back when I was kind of a noob here, but you'll see it's still works either way. What I did here was I hid a little bit too much with El Primo, but I still came away with, well, I don't want to spoil the results, but you're going to see how I handle things here. So with El Primo, with a big tanky character, I like to go right for the boxes and get Elixir, but I don't want to engage anybody too heavily. So you can see I'm just running around here. I'm trying to hunt for people who might be hiding over here in the grass because the best way to deal in the uh, showdown mode with weak characters, with squishy characters, is kind of to hide over here in the grass. So I'm scouting around, making sure there's nobody hiding, and then what I want to do is, I, I typically would head for an elixir box at this time, but I'm not sure what I end up doing here. So I should have actually engaged against this Shelly, but because it's so early on in the match, the number one thing you guys want to do, no matter what character you're playing, is make sure you're pretty passive early on. The worst thing you can possibly do is lose very early on so you want to make sure you're not super aggressive again I was a bit of a noob in this very first match I ran away from an elixir and gave it to Shelly that was kind of silly but you can see there's only five brawlers left and all I've done is not engage and hid from players so this Nita I don't want to engage with I don't want to have anything to do with her at this point I haven't even hit anybody so normally what I like to do is get a few hits in get my ultimate ability ready to go and then I use my ultimate ability at the very end, hopefully to smack somebody down. I almost get Nita out, but then I engage T-Man instead. I almost take him out in as well, but I let them kill each other. And you can see only four brawlers left. And all I've done is kind of, you know, done a little bit of a little bit of slap. He looks like he's slapping El Primo, but he's really boxing. So I've boxed a few players here and there. I haven't really done anything extraordinary, but this is exactly what you want to do here, guys. You just want to kind of chill out. Even with a level one El Primo, it's so easy to pick up first or second place victories just by not being super aggressive. You have so many, so much HP you can kind of just chill, and if somebody runs into you, they're probably not going to want to engage you. So this is what I like to do. At the very end, I just come in and I gank somebody after they kill each other. So I'm not being super aggressive here, and you can see plus nine trophies. That was my first ever. Put it in the record book for Ash, personally. It doesn't mean anything, but let's do it anyway. But put it in the record book. It's my very first victory. So now let's fast forward a few days when I have a better idea of what I'm doing in the game. But I just wanted to show you that because because, hey guys, it's kind of fun to show my very first survival victory. So, uh, the different idea here. Now I'm going to be much more aggressive. And if you're a tank, this is how you should play. If you're Bull or El Primo, to get first place victories. To get survival victories. So, again, I don't want to engage Shelly when I'm at a distance. But if I'm up close, then sure, I'm going to engage her all day, every day. And take her elixir. You can get elixir from killing somebody or from opening up one of these boxes. So, this time you can see I'm being much more aggressive. As a tank, I like heading into the center of the map and I like taking as many elixir boxes as possible and 
engaging somebody if they get too close to me. However, I'm not gonna be super, super aggressive. I wanna make sure I don't die. That's the biggest thing. If I'm a squishier character, which I'd also recommend using Showdown to upgrade all your squishy characters to let to at least 50 cups, preferably even 100 cups or more, remember that every brawler caps out at this time at 500 cups. Really, Primo, you can, you can grind him all the way to 500 cups, and I know a lot of people in the game have already done that with Primo and Shelly just in showdown mode. It's the fastest way to gain cups. So here you go. I'm just running around again, guys. I'm trying to get my ultimate ability ready, but I don't want to engage Nita with the bear. That would be a recipe for disaster for yours truly. I want to get one hit on somebody here so I can jump away. Get the heck out of here. So I could have maybe gotten a hit on that El Primo instead I'm still running at this point, but this is what you want to do guys. You run around a little bit. There's still nine brawlers left Let's let them kill each other. I don't want to die. I don't want to jeopardize my brawler's health I want first place, baby. So now you can see I have over 2,000 HP. Nobody wants anything to do with me. So I'm gonna grab that elixir. I have my ultimate ability ready and charged up. Now I can be the aggressor because if I have to get away, if I'm in a bind, I can just jump away and use my ultimate ability. So here I go. I'm gonna use it right now. Kill all these dudes over here in the right. Check this out, guys. I am loading up on the elixir. Look at my HP. It's gonna be absolutely insane here. And I know Shelly has no shot against me here, guys, with 2,400 HP. Now, when you're using El Primo, you don't want to get too close to your opponent. You want to keep maybe about, uh, I don't know, there's no tiles or squares, but basically, you know the slap ability that Primo has. You want to keep, you want to make sure if you get too close, they'll be able to easily dodge it. If you stay maybe like an arm's length, forgive the, the weird distance measure, away from your opponent, you'll be much better off. So you see how I did the first match and how I did the second match? And that's basically five days of grinding for 40 hours and five days of playing and getting a better feel for the best strategy. Again, I have to repeat again because I was just saying something and then I interrupted my own point, right? And I do that a lot. For those of you who might be new to the channel, I ramble a little bit. It's definitely the downside. Some say it's the upside of CWA Mobile Gaming. But anyway, here we go again. We're starting off in the in the corner, which is really the worst place to start off, in my opinion, for a tank. If you're a squishy character, the whole strategy changes, guys. If you're playing, let's say, I don't know, Ricochet, like a really squishy character with low HP, you want to hide. So maybe I'll do a video, if you guys want me to, with the best way to hide and evade other, you know, monster characters. So I almost take down this Mortis. Mortis is such a pain in the you-know-what to go against guys but you know what I'm not gonna be too concerned with every other brawler in the arena you can see I'm not being super aggressive but I am getting what I want so this guy is smart and he runs away from me because I have more HP than he does he knows he'd be at a big disadvantage so here nine brawlers left on this replay, guys, I kind of blew it a little bit, and I'll show you what happened uh, in a little bit here. But either way, I missed out on a, because I was spawned way off to the side, I missed out on a lot of those uh, elixir boxes, unfortunately. I really like to get five or even six before the gas starts to get too close closing in. You can see as I go through these little grassy spots, I get one punch in. That way, I can kill any squishy character who might be hiding in them. So I see this guy running around, and he he has fewer HP than I do, so I figure, hey, since we're on the perimeter of the map and there's not a lot of brawlers around, I might as well engage him, but I don't want to go too overboard. I'll let him go if he runs enough uh, because, hey, again, I don't want to lose. It's all about risk mitigation. I want to make sure I 100% always come in top five, especially if I'm playing a tank uh, because there's no reason you can't come in top five if you're playing El Primo. And if you come in top five, you're guaranteed not to lose trophies. That's why this is the best play mode. And if you come in second or first, you're gonna get about five trophies. That's a lot, especially as you get higher in trophy rankings. Now, as you get over 300 and 400 trophies, of course it goes down to four, but even way, either way, that's compared to one uh, trophy in all the other team modes. So here we go, this is where I make my big mistake. I should have went in like I did last time and been super aggressive. Instead, I get a little bit too, I don't know, aggressive here. There's no way I should have lost this. There's no way but that Shelly had her ultimate ability. She blasted me in my face. Did I come out right? 
well, she did. She killed me. She killed me, guys. And uh, I should have gotten first place there. Dang it, but I didn't. Either way, guys, I hope now you know the best way to get trophies fast. Again, what you want to do here, guys, is level up all of your brawlers to or rank them up or push them up to about 50 or 100 trophies, and you'll go way up to be the top in your band. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Huge shout to, to Bren Chong, my YouTube partner. You can check out his information in the description below. He hosts giveaways and much, much more on Twitter. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.